So I asked Chris, what's it like to have flown before social media and then fly mm -hmm. in the era of social media? Times are different. So I just asked Chris to reflect on the difference between then and now. When you're asked to do something on behalf of a lot of people, how do you share the experience? What's the right way? On my first flight, I would grab a camera. This is in 1995, a Hasselblad with 70 millimeter film in it, right? Take a picture of someplace. And first thing is, well, was that a good picture or not? Did I get the F-stop? Did I get everything just right? I don't know. So you, you bracket it, you hope. And then you get home, and a few weeks later, they have this big roll of film, and you look and go, what the heck is that? And you go, I think that picture's okay. And then they make you a print of it. And you go, yeah, that's a nice picture. I'd like a slide, please. And then they make you a slide, and now you have this little tiny slide of some place on Earth. And now, how do you, how do you show that to the person that it's interesting to? Now on the station, just with that's the old days. With social media, you can grab one of the cameras on board, take a picture of someplace, go click, pull the chip out, stick it in the computer, and on Twitter, immediately say, not just to people from that place, but around the whole world, say, look at this, L look at this place. And the power of that was amazing to watch. Stuff happens so fast on a space station. You're going so quick around the world or so, and on, on space flights, and often you, you kind of go, that was amazing, but I don't have time to think about it right now. I'm gonna, I just have to shelve my reaction to that thing. I'm gonna maybe take pictures of it or something, and later on I'm gonna think about it. And I still... So it's uh, delayed have, emotional investment. You have to, you have to, you can't keep up. It would just overwhelm you if you tried to keep up emotionally with what's happening, especially during a shuttle flight. But even on a space station flight, if, if, if you and I were by the big window of the space station, and, I, and we went around the world once together. What would I show you? What, what would, hey, you know, look at this. Look what's coming. Look up ahead at, at Mount Tanaka. Or look, wait till we get to Tokyo. Or look what we're going to see of London and then France 15 seconds later. Cool. Would you say that social media has boosted public interest in space? I think I, think I look so, at these Twitter yeah. numbers. Uh, it's, most astronauts have a Twitter handle, right? Yeah, just and, about every one now. Just yeah. about every one. NASA, at NASA, has... Right. 8.7 million followers. Yeah. Uh, the C Mars Curiosity rover, the rover has 1.8 million followers. More than Hadfield or, I mean, not yeah. as many as you, I Mo would think. Most of them are bots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>